welcome back so today we are going to do a very interesting stuff about email and that is combining social and local login accounts and this is the learning outcome so we'll first enable an external authentication provider which i will do with facebook so you can do it with facebook google twitter and microsoft and many other external authentication provider but i will only just cover facebook you know just to show you how it is done so in order to do so we'll have to create an asp.net core 2.2 project and follow a relevant topic on facebook instructions to configure our application to use facebook as an authentication provider okay so let's get back to the so in order to complete this section we must enable an external authentication provider as facebook google twitter uh, i mean etc it should be etc so now you have to see this link facebook google and external provider authentication so this link it leads to a microsoft uh, documentation where you, which i will be following and this i will put in the description and we'll switch over the above switch over to the above link and enable facebook as an authentication provider following the steps so for that we'll need to create a new asp.net core 2.2 web application and i will use visual studio 2017 because it has got 2.2 core 2.2 sdk and i will change the authentication to individual user accounts and click okay and then we'll create i think these steps you are already familiar with but i thought that i will add it to the presentation to make it more um, readable so i have got my visual studio 2017 open community version because i have to create the project in 2.2 and since i am just following this tutorial this is not written by me and i am in no way attached with microsoft so um i am just following what they have uh, shown us so i am using core 2.2 application to create an authentication with facebook so just follow along so file new project and this will be asp.net core web application and i will name it as external authentication provider demo and this is a web application asp.net core 2.2 and i'll change the authentication to individual user accounts right okay so the external authentication provider demo is created for me and i'll have to run the app and then apply migrations so the application is created and running for me with this welcome page and this is remember asp.net core 2.2 application so let's now flip over to the visual uh, flip over to the powerpoint and you can see that the next step is run the app and select register link and enter the email and password and select register and follow the instructions to apply migrations right and use then facebook instruction link to configure the application to use the facebook as a provider okay so going back to the application now application is open so i will try to register with a new account so i have got this email id at krchuman@extra.co.nz and i will put a password right so you have this page a database operation failed while processing the request but 
click apply migrations okay so try refreshing this page so i guess the uh, migration is already applied because i am logged in with the registration now i have in front of you the microsoft original documentation facebook external login setup in asp.net core now i'll have to navigate to the facebook developers app page now i have already created an account but let me go to demonstrate to you so i have already created a, a facebook uh, app with an app id of this and uh, this is known as kiasi home app id okay so it's already there and if you would like me to redo it i can redo it by deleting this account delete app okay delete app let me delete this app just to show you and then i will re enter the facebook login it is asking me okay so i have got this so here i can see that there is a my apps tab and create app okay let's see what happens oh display name yeah okay and contact email they have already got from my facebook profile so display name you can give it any name you know and be sure you know um here it will not allow you to use fb or facebook as a display name because it 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 will object definitely which i have tried so let me again this is in the drop down list i will create a, the same display name krc home underscore app underscore id and then create app id so i'll have to do the security check submit uh, again right submit voila it's doing something now great uh my app id is created um so create new app so from this products link i'll just click this one and it will bring another page right add a product so what i will click is facebook login and i will at the moment i will just skip right hand side and click on this settings all right so client oauth yes web oauth login yes so i will not change any of these things okay so client oauth settings it is about security so i will just go with the default one what i will so i put the valid oauth redirect urls as https local host colon port and slash sign in dash facebook and save changes so the this is facebook is you know already saved now i click the settings and basic so i have got this app id and app secret okay so let me see the app secret okay so i'll have to store it in a uh, secret manager how i will do that so now on this page on this notepad you can see that i have already copied a command which i have to run on a console application so dot net user secret set authentication colon facebook colon app id now this is the app id 
that is where I copied it from and app secret is also copied on the next line. So now I'll have to run a console command after browsing it to the relevant project directory. So now you can see that I have already uh, on the uh, command prompt and I have uh, um, put my current directory to the directory where the project is there with this um, ASP.NET Core project. Now I will issue this command. I will paste this entire command and it will work its way through. So you can see app secret and app ID already they are successfully saved authentication and this um, app ID and app secret they are already saved so you can see successfully saved authentication secret authentication app ID is also stored to the secret store so both are so stored to the secret store so app ID as well as app secret right and now I can close this application now then I have opened the startup file and I need to add the Facebook service in the configure services method within the startup class right so I think you are if you have gone through all my tutorials on identity and security so far you are I think well aware of being able to um, the need to always register a service in the configuration configure services so if you'd like to follow with me, I will write the code to add the Facebook authentication following the Microsoft documentation. So I am not doing anything on my own. I am just following the Microsoft, Microsoft documentation. So add authentication. So I will call the add authentication. See, this is an extension method. services dot add authentication dot add Facebook add you can see add Facebook add Google and many other add Microsoft accounts so I will add to the Facebook so what it will do it will add the Facebook authentication so I have to write a further code I'll make it Facebook options Facebook options as a parameter with a lambda expression and so put a semicolon over there just to save some time I have copied it on my clipboard and uh, I have just pasted Facebook options dot app ID you can see Facebook options dot app secret and this is actually bringing the uh, relevant app ID and app secret from the secret store so configuration uh, startup dot configuration so this is actually getting it the, from the secret now next I will run the application and click login okay so let me run the application so application is now running and I will click the login link voila you got this Facebook link right so let me click the Facebook use another service to login so because I have already been plugged into the Facebook so I can continue as Kaushik now it will get me back to the original um, URL of this application great you have successfully authenticated with Facebook please enter an email address for this site below and click the register button to finish logging in so I've got this Facebook email David Kaushik and I can just click on register and then I have been to the original email uh, original website so superb so we now what remains is that it, you can combine now I am already logged in from my external authentication that is Facebook right but I can combine local and social accounts by clicking on your on my email link okay so I, let me click on my email link so it gives me a host lot of things on the left hand side and once I am there 
I I have already created the account as social login first and then added local login. So my profile is debitkaushik at gmail.com that is the email and then the password. So I can always set a new password. Okay. So that actually now this this is the other way the social login is now um, integrated with the local login. I can create a new password. Okay. So as you can see that add a local account so you can log in without an external login. So in that case I can log in with the uh, new local login so without the um, Facebook you know I can so let me change the password test now that is in case the social authentication provider is down you know its server is down you are unable to provide um, the external provider authentication so in that case this is also handy so set password your password has been set okay great so now if you I can log out and I can log in in three different ways okay I can either log in through Facebook okay if the Facebook is down then I can log in with my original local login or the login that I've just created um, the second login that I've created second local login which is this one and where I change the password so this I should also be able to log in great and my original login was So this was my original email address for local login. So I am I can now log in through local login uh, when I set this application and then I could log in with the Facebook and also I could uh, if the Facebook authentication is down then I could create use the Facebook uh, email but create another um, password. So uh, that is a second local login in just in case that I have forgotten the first uh, local login I can use that second local login. So that's it. So today we have seen how to combine the local login with the social login or social login and the local login, login account. So I have created only the Facebook account but you can create multiple external authentication providers like Google, Twitter and the documentation is available for that in the original documentation link that I have provided in the video description.